so there I will discuss about my last touches by Robert Browning my last touches is a poem by Robert Browning frequently anthologized as an example of the dramatic monologue it first appeared in 1842 in Browning's dramatic lyrics the poem is composed in 28 rhyming couplets of iambic pentameter heroic couplet in the first edition of dramatic lyrics the poem was merely titled equally historical background the poem is preceded by the epigraph ferrara indicating that the speaker is all Alfonso II DST, the fifth Duke of Ferrara, who in 1558 at the age of 24 had married Lucrezia di Cosimo de Medici, the 13 year old daughter of Cosimo de Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany, and Eleonora di Toledo. Lucrezia was well educated and the male is. Medicis and the Medicis could be considered no view rich in comparison to the venerable and distinguished East family. Alfonso II, the Estes remark regarding his gift of a 900 years old name clearly indicates that he considered his bride beneath him socially. She came the she came with the sizable dowry she came with a sizable dowry he then abandoned her for two years before she died on 21 april 1561 at age 16 although there was a strong suspicion of, of poisoning it is more likely that the cause of her death was tuberculosis it is speculated that the rumor of poisoning was started by enemies of Alfonso. The Duke then, in 1564, sought the hand of Barbara, eighth daughter of the Holy Roman Emperor Ferdinand I and Anna of Bohemia and Hungary, and the sister of the Count of Tyrol, Ferdinand II. The Count was in charge of arranging the marriage, the chief of his inter entourage. Nicholas Madras, a native of Innsbruck, was his, co was his courier. Madras is presumably the person addressed by the Duke in the poem. The artist by the Duke in the poem, the artist named in the poem, painter Frau Pendolf, and sculptor claws of Innsbruck are fictional. Here, the artist named in the poem painter Frau Pandolf and sculptor claws of Innsbruck are fictional. Frau means monk. Synopsis The speaker, presumably the Duke Alfonso Ferrara, is giving the emissary of the family of his prospective new wife a tour of the artworks in his home. He draws a curtain to reveal a painting of a woman, explaining that it is a portrait of his late wife. He invites his guests to sit and look at the painting. As they look at the portrait of the late Duchess, the Duke describes her happy, cheerful, appreciative and kind nature, which had displeased him. He says she had a heart, how shall I say, too soon made glad. He goes on to say that his complaint, his complaint of her was that there was not her husband's presence only that made her happy. Eventually, I gave commands, then all smiles stopped together. In an interview, Browning said, I mean that the commands were that she should be put to death, or he might have had her shut up in a convent. The Duke now keeps her painting hidden behind a curtain that only he is allowed to draw back. Thus now she only smiles for him. The Duke demonstrates many narcissistic tendencies as he recalls the time he shared with his now deceased Duchess. 
He then resumes an earlier conversation regarding wedding arrangements and in passing points out another work of art, a bronze statue of Neptune teaming a seahorse by Claus of Innsbruck, so making his still his late wife just another work of art. Firm, Browning characterized this poem as a dramatic lyric, but essentially it is a dramatic monologue, a jaw typically associated with Browning, where when person speaks to a presumed audience, it is written in iambic pentameter, employing rhyming couplets and the enjambment technique of not always concluding the sentences at the ends of lines. Because of this technique, the poem has a conversational quality and can be read as a long speech. Notes So, there is the end. Okay.